Hey, what's going on guys? Alex here from Mr. Build It, and in today's video, we're gonna take my very ordinary, very nothing fancy front door and spruce it up a little bit. So let's do a little bit of moving magic here. Take this ordinary, boring front door in and turn it into that. So without wasting any time, let me show you how I did this and let's get into the video. Let's go. Now, front doors have usually two ways of being attached. You have a classic hinge right here that you can use a Phillips screwdriver and knock it from the bottom up, prying it completely off. Or the second way is usually you'll have a, a self-closing, a spring-loaded hinge, and that one you can't do, but what you'd have to do is open the door, put something in the way, for, keep the flat pump swinging open, and then unscrew the screws that are in place. So that being said, I'm gonna take this puppy off and bring it in the workshop, and we'll see what we got. All right, we got our door off. Now, I know nothing about door inserts. This is the very first time I remember doing this, but I went on Zabitat.com and I picked out the style of door insert glass that I wanted. And there are a few specifications you guys gotta keep in mind, the thickness of the door, the paneling, the sizing, all that stuff to make this work. So let me show you the box that I got and uh, what the thing looks like and we'll try to figure out together how to do this. So we have everything stripped here and nothing's gonna interfere with the cutting. Based on the instructions, and to be honest, pretty easy to follow instructions. The, the inner dimensions are 23, and you have a variance of like 3 eighths of an inch uh, width, and then height is 65, again, 65 and 3 eighths is your variance. Um, so what they're saying to do is it's gonna be a two-part cut. You're gonna cut the top, flip it over, cut the bottom, don't attempt to cut all the way through. I guess that's what problem's happening. So what they recommend, measure things out and then tape off the area that way you're staying within the lines. Uh, they're saying use a drill bit to pre-start your holes and then use a jigsaw to cut uh, the surface area out. I think we're gonna, we're gonna do our best in making sure we don't screw this up. So, <laughs> wish me luck. Um, I got a nice fine uh, blade on here. I don't know how this is gonna work out. It's kind of nerve wracking. If I screw this up, I have to get a new door. So that's cool, but I, I think we'll be fine. Um, yeah, give it a go. It's <laughs> nice and slow, away she goes. Woo, I'm not stressed, you're stressed. All right, enough goofing around. Let's put the big boys to the test. I'm gonna go big with the saw. But then I'll slow down and use the jigsaw to not screw it up. Uh, one side's down, would definitely recommend using a respirator. There's some stuff in here, man. Uh, now we're gonna flip it over, do the same thing, and hopefully we did everything right and the thing should come out. <laughs> we're cutting into our front door. This can't get more committed.
All right, moment of truth. Well, almost moment of truth. Let's, let's see the damage we made. Oh, we need to trim it up a little bit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a fiberglass door on the outside, so it sounds like metal. I was so sure it was metal. And then a foam insulation in the middle. How, how strange. All right, let's set this to the side because I will want to do a dry fit, mostly because I want to make sure everything fits perfectly because I will be giving this a fresh coat of paint and I might even change the color. I don't know, but we got to make sure this, this fits all right. Let's get the glass. All right, here is the kit. Come for a clip. Come my friend, come look. So what it looks like, it's, it's uh, two frames, uh, top and bottom. Both have a, a weathering gasket uh, ceiling there. And then the glass, the tempered glass, right in the middle, that's sandwiched. So basically, once you put a sandwich around the, the, the door, you would just secure it with these screws and then cap off these plugs. The great thing is this is already matching our current situation. Let me show you. <laughs> nice, the door is open. Uh, so it's currently matching, obviously, this trim and on top. So what I need to do now is just to get it to match on the sides. Um, I'm gonna get white paint, uh, maybe even black, but possibly, I think, I think white, and then we'll cover it. Maybe black, I don't know. Let me know what you think, black or white? I legitimately don't know if I should do black or white. Um, let me call the boss. Hey. Hey, I got a quick question for you. Okay. Um, the glass door, the center paneling, it's white, which matches our existing windows around and to the side. Uh, yeah. But uh, the trim around this glass uh, is able to be painted. Now, currently it's tan, which I think that's like a default color. Um, yeah. Would you want me to paint it A, uh, white to match the interior crossings, or B, paint it like a satin or flat black? What do you think will look better? I think it'll look b good both ways. The only thing is it'll match the doors if I paint it black because the door hardware is black. But it, the white will match the existing trim around it. I'm trying to visualize. Um, are we painting the door black? You want me to paint the door black? Okay. Yeah. So right. you think it will be better if it's white then, so it stands out, or what do you think? I think if the door is gonna be black, I think paint the trim black, and then. We'll just blend. Yeah, it'll blend better. Okay, sounds good. All right. Uh, um, the black. The black that I think will look really good is called tricorn black. Okay, can you text that to me? Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. All right, black it is. See, they just solved it. Sometimes you gotta call your wife. We'll figure it out. Check this out. It's sitting perfectly. I, 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 I could, I could not, I could not be happier. So if the trim is going in well, then the glass obviously will go in. So let's get some paint on these puppies. Puppy, puppies, no, puppies. <laughs> puppies. All right, since the uh, exterior is going to need some love, um, I figured let's change the paint. Well, not me, the missus said, let's change the paint. Uh, we're going to go with a brand new paint job on this. The color is going to be uh, tricorn black. Apparently a lot of the uh, fancy interior designers are using it. Anywho, I'm going to sand this down to about 120 grit, give it a nice clean surface. And last time we rolled this on, and you know how rolling is, like it just kind of gets clumpy sometimes if you're not perfect. I'm not perfect with it. So I'm going to shoot it in spray paint at this time. It'll be nice. going to be using our Flexio 5000. It's just an HVLP sprayer. Nothing fancy. Just does put out quite a bit of fan power uh, flow, if you will. Um, 
this comes with two sprayers, the big one and then the smaller one. The big one, a lot of overspray. The little one, the finished one, that's the one that's money. That, that means it's really good. I, I like it a lot. All right, so the paint is dry. Um, we're gonna start assembling everything. Now, based on the directions, it seems pretty straightforward. They're saying lay the outside frame down first, upside down, then lay the glass right over it, and then very carefully put the door over that. And then on top of that, we're gonna put the actual part that's inside the house, that frame, uh, and then secure it with screws. Basically sandwiching it together seems pretty straightforward. I'm just, I'm just hoping I don't damage the paint. <laughs> it hasn't cured yet. So let's see what we can do. All right, so the door is on, and most importantly, nothing was broken, not the glass or anything, so I couldn't be more excited. The measurements were perfect, and nothing is exposed. All that's left is really concealing all these screw holes that are exposed, so they enclose these really slick caps, and uh, obviously they're still tan. So let's go in the garage, give it a quick coat of white paint, cap them off, and we'll be ready to do the grand reveal. So let's go. Hey guys, this came out so good. We couldn't be happier with it. The amount of light that's actually coming into this part of the house is incredible. Highly encourage you guys to try this. I'll put the link in the description below of the kit that I used as well as the tools that I used and my merch in the description below for you guys to check that stuff out. Guys, courage and sweat. We're not trained professionals. We're not experts. This is the first time I've taken a saw to my front door. You just need the courage and sweat. You need the courage to try these projects and the sweat just to persevere through, get through it and learn something new for the next project. Make sure you check out the links in my description for my social medias and all that stuff. And if you like projects like this and you're burning the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button there and tap the notification bell. That way you'll be alerted every time we put a video out. Make sure you like, comment, and share this video with your friends. Tune out this week. We'll see you guys on the next one. See ya. Bye. There we go. We got a hole. They're gonna look nice and nice. Nice and nice. They're gonna look nice. It's just single nice. What's the worst that can happen? Flood your house. Solving problems, that's what we're in the business for, solving problems. <laughs> Shut up, all right? We're just teaching people how to get started, and that is it.